Hey Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess every freaking day, in every freaking way. Hope you're having a beautiful week, guys. Let's see what Spirit has to say today. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in pulling insights for the High Priestess Collective. What insights does the High Priestess Collective need to know today? Whoa, that's a lot, right? King of Cups, that's you, Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, with the Hierophant, Master Teacher, somebody very intuitive, learning from a Queen of Swords, someone with boundaries, someone with passion, someone who's not afraid to speak their truth, their wants, their needs, and their no's. Communication between these two people, maybe after a period of conflict, Someone having boundaries, someone, the feminine side, whoever's more feminine, having very clear boundaries and passion behind what they're talking about. This could be a married couple if you are in a committed relationship. It doesn't have to be married, just long-term commitment. Someone speaking on their passion, their truth, their wants, their needs, their no's. There could be a kid involved, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, doesn't have to be though. Or there's a pair of people who are learning from each other on a spiritual, emotional level. One, deepening their emotions, tapping into what they feel, letting their feelings guide them, and the other standing in their truth, honoring their limits, asking for what they need, especially after some kind of conflict. Okay. Whoa. Well, we'll keep you, sir. Judgment. There is a higher calling here opportunity to wake up or answer a call spiritual lesson all right what else we got spirit four swords meditating getting quiet why am i so far there we go four swords meditation recuperation rejuvenation contemplation in silence to get back to a stable ground a secure inner peace Ace of Pentacles at the bottom so that something can come in. Some of you may be meditating on or getting still on or getting quiet on the internal nudge that you've been getting. This can be around a day-to-day -day thing, like a conversation that needs to be had with somebody. Oh, shit. Or areas where you're not receiving what you want to receive. This could also be checking in with your higher self around your financial success, your physicality, connection to your body, connection to your home. The four swords, well, fours give like a little bit of home vibe, especially four wands. Um, but this could be like you reflecting on like, where am I not receiving what I need, either from my body, from my finances, from my creativity, and getting really still to unblock those blockages. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for this Queen of Pentacles. This could be somebody in your orbit if that's not you who's either under giving or under receiving and there is a call to meditation a call to stillness but look at that wheel of fortune things turn in your favor divine timing closing out a cycle this is a little different spin right um <laughs> literal spin that's the hand of the divine churning the wheel big wheel came on turning wow i keep on burning rolling there's an ace of cups though that, that 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 king is holding with one hand and he's holding his queen with the other. So this could be in regards to relationship dynamics. You put that where it goes if that fits. Otherwise, this indicates that things are going to turn in your favor pending this internal answering of the call, this stillness that you create to go within. Oh, I love this. Six of cups. This is like reflecting on the past, what made me feel good, inner child healing, sweetness. This could be soulmate energy coming into more harmony with a soulmate, more harmony with somebody. Maybe there was a third party, not like a, it could be a person, but it doesn't have to be a person. Third party could be like, someone has let work get in the way. Someone has let, um, you know, obligations get in the way or distractions get in the way or ego get in the way. But it looks like that third thing is getting kicked off and there's like a restore of harmony here. Whether this is work, love, 
family matters. Yeah, bottom of the deck is three swords. So it looks like there was a disappointment. There could have been a disagreement and misunderstanding. The swords are perceived pain, right? It's piercing through the heart, but it's perceived pain. It's how we perceive the situation. And sometimes we perceive a situation through projection, assuming the other person's point of view. And that's not always it's not always accurate. Sometimes we inflict pain on ourselves. That's not necessary. Eight of swords in reverse being released from that. Wow. That is what that was. Damn. That was dead on. So there could have been a disappointment, a disagreement, a fight, or a period of not receiving what it is that you wanted. And the perception of that situation could have been slightly off, could have been more painful than the actual facts or reality of the situation. But let's see what's going on. Sorry, I'm stimming. Okay. These cards took a dip in Neptune and Jupiter's water fountain the other night. I woke up and the Ace of Pentacles was just floating at the top. I'm like, okay, we, <laughs> we don't need to be reading cards while I'm sleeping, guys. Page of Pentacles, there's communication here. So either you or this person were in are inspired or were inspired. Let's take this as like today or this week to reach out but this is good news this is like reconcile like hey let's what's going on let's like make this right or like hey i have really good news to share hey this is like a a good thing maybe this came off wrong but this is a good thing or i've been really busy i hope you didn't take it personally let me let me explain what's going on here i like that virgo taurus capricorn energy again matching that virgo taurus capricorn energy Four swords, st stillness, recuperation, meditation, rejuvenation. This could also be offers coming in in regards to a career situation where you are no longer feeling fulfilled. Something comes in that gives you life again. Nine of wands. This is that wounded warrior energy, right? This is you persevering, having a lot of tenacity, being able to get knocked down and stand back up on your own, um, channeling and dipping into that grit that's within you. It has blocked a little bit of that third eye. And that's sometimes why when our third eye is blocked, sometimes we can inflict perceived pain on situations that are happening in front of us that aren't necessarily accurate. <clears throat> but this nine of wands is like, I... I've been through the ringer. I've done what I've needed to do. I'm still standing, but I'm tired. I'll keep going, but I'm fatigued. This is you going into stillness with that energy. That's going to essentially heal that blocked third eye up. That's going to give you keener sight with your high priestess vision. Wow, seven of swords again in reverse. No longer lying to yourself about what you are not receiving. This is like, I'm not happy in my job. I'm not happy in the relationship. I'm not happy in the house. I'm not happy with my body, but I'm not lying to myself anymore about it. I'm looking at what is going on inside through stillness, or I'm just getting still so I can get that clarity, right? Things end up turning perfectly in your favor. That's why I just, I keep coming back. I think this was a perceived discomfort. I mean, everything is perceived, right? But you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, we're making something out to be worse than it is, like catastrophizing. Oh my God. I used to, if I would get a phone call from certain people, I would assume that they're calling because somebody died. And they could be like, hey, I want to, I want to know what you're doing next weekend. Can I bring some food? You know? So if you are prone to, that's just an example. If you're prone to catastrophizing, this might be an example of that where like you thought things were going really, really awry and may, and it has fatigued you and like drained you probably because of past trauma or fear, fear of abandonment, fear of loss, fear of um, scarcity, fear of, you know, not having enough, fear of not being chosen, like whatever the fear is, right? What's this? King of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and Knight of Cups. This could be a boss, CEO, business owner. This could be fears around your business, but there's like, but it's like goodness coming in. Re refilled, a refilled cup, harmony, action that is fulfilling. Can I get one more in the Seven of Swords? Thank you. Two of Swords in reverse. Seven Swords, Two of Swords is Nine Swords. Both in reverse though. Nine of Swords in reverse is ending the anxiety. Listen, what... Pisces, what are you worrying about? Whatever the thing is that you're worrying about, I totally get it. But this is saying that, like, you don't need to anymore, that this was a perceived, this was a misunderstanding. 
and you're going to be able to clear that out, cut that out through some more stillness, from more peace, meditation, time in nature, whatever your your thing is for mindfulness. And there is something coming in, like a message or an offer, an interview, an invite, something, communication, clarity that's coming in for you that helps you alleviate that. That's stunning. Yes, look, because that's you. You are the empress. You're manifesting. You're connected to Venus, planet of love. You are fertile with ideas. Taurus energy. You have all 12 zodiac signs coursing through you. So sometimes it can feel really overwhelming. And it is easy to feel confused when you are feeling everyone's energy and emotion, including yours. But this is you, kid. Receiving, receiving, receiving. Say it, Pisces. I am open to receiving. I receive with ease. Oh my God. And that's emotions being restored. Emotions being restored. The confusion being alleviated. The anxiety being remedied. This is like love pouring over a situation. Now you go from nine of swords in reverse to my cup is running over, right? Let me just do something. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, which breaks down to seven of swords anyway. So if you thought that someone wasn't being honest or forthcoming about a situation, whether it's a contract or pay or the next step in this career or this relationship or where this is going, it does look like that. It, I'm on repeat, sorry. But it looks like it was a misunderstanding. Trust your high priestess energy. Trust patterns over promises. Five of cups. Look at that. The wheel of fortune turning is being clarified by five of cups. That's you crying over these three cups spilled, right? Like this is this is no longer here. This is no longer a thing. This has got to go. But you still have these two cups behind you. And that's the change. Saying goodbye to something that probably wasn't working. And remembering the two of cups behind you. Give me another one here. The hermit wanted to pop. <gasps> Whoa, three of swords. This is what I'm getting here. I don't, you know, put this where this goes. Take it if it resonates. Can you hit that like button if this resonates? And if there, if it isn't full resonance, maybe there's some relevance in here. That three of swords is those three cups. Whatever spilled, whatever, maybe someone didn't show up for you. You feel like you're not receiving something in these three cups that you wanted. Whatever the perception was. But the thing is, there's two cups behind you. And it's like the three of cups is celebrating. It's the divine sisters of fate. It's like this was supposed to happen. This is harvest time. But it's built over, right? But the two of cups is standing. And the two of cups is soulmate energy. It's union. It's connection. It's divinity. It's brought together by the gods. It's balance. It's complementary energy. So I'm going to pull another one because I, I want to know what this is about but there's like whatever the perceived loss was there's some it looks like there's still something fulfilling here oh my god look at the bottom of the deck you can't make that up you can't make that up two of cups give me one more here what is this eight of cups in reverse oh damn i say damn because it's like that's this emotional lesson that keeps coming back around is this something that you sh you know not struggle with Pisces, but is catastrophizing or like taking things super personally. I mean, hi, it's me. Um, is that like a repeated thing or feeling it, feeling it so personally, even if it's not personal, feeling things so personally? Eight plus five is what? 13, four of cups. Maybe you don't feel seen or you didn't feel seen or you don't feel seen in the situation. That's understandable. But this wheel is turning. This wheel is turning. A cycle is over. Maybe the cycle of perceived pain and loss. Perceived pain, perceived. It's like butt hurt <laughs> energy, right? <laughs> You're like, my ego is super bent about this. Maybe that is the ego getting kicked out. Knight of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Inspired action. Ooh, inspired action to be strong, to channel your Leo energy, to be proud of yourself, to tame the ego. That lion is ego. To tame the ego, to tame fear, 
to tame. It's just love and it's just fear. Everything boils down to that. It's love or it's fear. So whatever we're feeling in the moment, if it's not feeling saucy and love, no matter what word you put on it, angry, frustrated, irritated, scared, it's fear, right? It looks like this turn of events allows you to take some kind of inspired action towards channeling not only your strength of spirit, but there's an element of nurture and care for yourself. Maybe this is reparenting. Maybe this is coaching yourself through things, remembering you're connected to the divine. We have the Lionsgate portal coming up in a couple weeks. Link to register for that ceremony is below. If you want to get ahead of that, there's a cap. But this is you being able to do the hard things. Look at this. The tongue is coming out of this lion. The tail is curled up underneath the belly, indicating it's tame. You're taming the lion. You're taming the beast, the fear. You're taming the thing that maybe once had control of you and you thought was fact. You're looking at now is like, oh, this is a symptom of my brain. This is what my brain does. But now I'm aware of it and I can kick it out. I can turn that wheel. I can kick this third energy, my ego, off this so that my perception is not one of lack or loss. My perception is one of let me be present and look at the reality of my situation and choosing love for me. I don't know what I'm saying. I hope this, I hope this resonates. Six of Cups, harmony, sweetness, trying to make sure my tootsies are not in this video <laughs> six of cups two of pentacles going back and forth decision making decision making in what spirit oh smooth stuff oh my god pisces this is it man i'm vibing uh Okay, that strength card was card number eight, right? And we have the eight of cups in reverse, and now we have the eight of swords in reverse. Eight, 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 abundance, babe. It seems like you are breaking through the perception of pain. Things that once bent you, once bruised your ego, once made you feel less than, or like that little kid of like, I'm not being picked, right? Or like, they don't want to play with me, or like, I'm too much, I'm too much. Or like, I'm not going to receive the love or the win or the, I won't be selected or they don't see me. It looks like you are working, actively working through Pisces. This is exhausting. I'm so proud of you. Actively working through freeing yourself from that limited belief, that limited system, that limited construct, that limited way of, of living. Like, I'm going to stay in this box because it's safe. This is you, Eight of Swords in Reverse, being like, I'm breaking out. And I'm breaking out of me. It's really me that kept me here. I believed I was supposed to stay in that box. I believed that I wouldn't be picked. I wouldn't be chosen. I believed all this sword energy, right? It's a lot of sword. Three swords, four swords, seven, two, three, eight. That's so much mental energy. And your brain is a great muscle. But your thoughts are not facts. Our thoughts are not facts. And this looks like you move away from letting your mind rule you and allowing your spirit ooh, to intervene. Allowing your spirit to intervene. Going back and forth about what are the different ways my ego mind, my fear have been holding me back or keeping me complacent or making me perceive things that are hurtful <laughs> when maybe they didn't, they don't mean to be, right? Like rejection is the universe's protection. It's not personal, it's vibrational as Missy says from Saltwater Heals. But I think you're going back and forth about this, like looking at the sweetness in your life or the people that you care about in your life or the things that fill you up and being like, how am I holding myself back here? What are the limited beliefs, the perceived pains here? And how can I free myself of that so that I'm enjoying myself more? Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this is like a long term. Let's see. It's a long term plan. It's being patient with yourself. Can you give yourself a little more grace, Pisces? A little more compassion understanding all that compassion that you give for other people can you give it to yourself and be patient with yourself as you're growing yeah the moon 
Three of Pentacles, Nine of, well, whoa, 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 Swords. It's okay to feel scared when you're like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm moving. I was watching, um, I forget her t fucking YouTube name. Damn it. Jacqueline. It's like Universe Tower or Universe. It's the yin and yang symbol. Anyway, she's awesome. I'm like obsessed with her. Go watch her if you need more Pisces readings. I was watching my Scorpio reading from her last night. And she was saying, when you move out of, um, if you've lived in fight or flight Pisces, for a lot of your life. Let me start over. If you lived in fight or flight for the beginning years of your life, you're living in fight or flight now. <laughs> Just like your nervous system is programmed for that, okay? So a simple situation, disagreement, rolling of the tides can be perceived as a threat because you lived in a threatening environment, Pisces, if this resonates for you, right? So sometimes our perception of what's happening is from fight or flight, it's from like harm reduction. How can I stay safe? Let me imagine the worst case scenario so that I'm prepared. But Pisces, I'm working through this too. I'm working through this too. That's not how we're supposed to live. Um, if that happened to you, I believe that that's our gift to work through and to, and to come out of fight or flight mode and not have to be on guard all the time. And to realize that that was a unique situation <clears throat> and environment that you grew up in, right? And now moving out of that into, actually, every day is pretty safe. Every day, I got a roof over my head. I got people that love me. Relationships aren't perfect, but, like, I'm learning, right? Um, it can feel very uncomfortable. And when it gets really still... Sometimes we can project problems that maybe aren't always there. I'm not saying you're always doing that. I'm just throwing this out for whoever needs to hear that. Sometimes we create a situation that's like dire out of pieces of the reality we're witnessing. Does that make sense? All right, let me get off the soapbox. I hope that resonates for somebody. All right, let's get potential outcomes for Pisces. Ooh, Something not balanced, something not fair. Libra, oh, Libra energy again. Libra energy, Libra energy, Libra energy. Imbalanced relationship or imbalance of the fulfillment, imbalance of the dynamic. But these are cups. These scales are actually cups. So I think this is relationship bound with this Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Give me a little more here. Something that was not fair or was perceived as not fair. What is that? High Priestess in reverse. Quiet. Coming out of quiet. Coming out of secret. Okay, if someone has been quiet or there's been a, an issue that has been... Yeah, there it is. If there's been an issue in a relationship dynamic, again, with your boss, with a friend, family member, or lover, or situationship. There's something about, trust your intuition, but your intuition is going to be assured. She's not going to be scared is the thing. And the assuredness is going to be, this is a fact. Like there's like no doubt. There's no fear. It's like very clear. Even if the thing that you're sure about brings you fear later on. The moment that intuition strikes, though, there is no fear. It is it is clear assuredness, right? Listen for that. But here it looks like seven of swords in reverse, lying to ourselves. Two of swords in reverse, trying to cut it out, make a decision. Queen of pentacles in reverse, under receiving, under giving. It's like you weren't listening to, to your high priestess energy. It's like you fell victim to the fear and believed that the fear was your intuition. You believe the fear was your intuition? Six of Pentacles, though, in reverse, and Justice in reverse. I don't like that. So there's something that, something wasn't balanced that made you believe in the catastrophe of it all. That's okay. Sometimes we just need a conversation, right? Or sometimes we need to speak Queen of Swords, speak that truth, speak what you want, speak what you need, speak what you're perceiving. Hey, I'm, I'm viewing this situation as blah, blah, blah. Can you... Can you confirm, is that what's happening? Am I right in assuming that? Am I right in perceiving this situation that way? 
this just feels like a lot of emotion though. Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, High Priestess, Pisces energy. And there's that Knight of Wands taking inspired action, but this is happiness. And Ace of Wands, third eye chakra, all the way activated. Seeing with eyes closed. I think this is the new way, Pisces, is like, it's not easy, but I think it's like, opening up the vulnerability of I'm perceiving the situation as XYZ. What is the evidence I have to support this? What does my intuition say? And sometimes it can be hard to feel our intuition. We have to get really, really still and quiet and out of fight or flight. Out of fight or flight. But your third eye is super activated. Seeing without seeing, super activated. And don't be afraid to march to the beat of your own drum. This path doesn't have to look any kind of way to anybody. Yeah, this is a perspective shift, changing the perspective. I'm going to do a split here for the queen, okay? Yep. Death and rebirth, Scorpio energy, six of wands, successful. You're going to come out on top, kid. I don't know exactly what this is about. I, there's so many mixed, but first, trust you. Ask yourself, am I, am I catastrophizing here? Do I have all the facts? And reminding yourself, hey, am I projecting past pain onto this situation? And if you do feel out of balance, or you do feel like something's not fair, are you voicing it? That's all you could do. That's all we can do is advocate for ourselves and learn to trust ourselves and be gentle with ourselves. You're not doing anything wrong by doing that, Pisces. You have permission. Advice, insights for Pisces. I love you guys. Can you hit that like button if any of this was relevant claim it if there is full resonance Ooh, comfort how can you bring more comfort into your life pisces you can increase your comfort through tangible things such as soft clothes and food and intangible things such as thinking loving thoughts about yourself and inviting peace into your heart hmm. be gentle with you pisces the more comfortable you are the less uh projected catastrophe we admit lighten up you're being asked to remember that life doesn't always have to be so serious yes there are hard things happening no it's not always easy to be here on earth but you can always find the time to laugh be silly and have fun it's so important that you do so i feel like that ties to this us projecting these terrible outcomes to things when we could just have a little more fun, be a little more silly, and have faith. I love these praying hands with the vines. It gives ayahuasca vibes. It's not always easy to have faith and trust that everything is going to be okay. Yet still, you must do exactly that. Because when you have faith, Pisces, your life will begin to flow in magical ways that you never imagined were possible. That's beautiful. Let's get a message from Spirit. Past lives. Complete your unfinished business. Card number 39 breaks down to 12, which breaks down to 3. Mind, body, soul connection. We have the lunar nodes shifting coming up. You might want to check your south node. See if there is any insight as to this situation. This feels like day-to-day -day stuff, too. This isn't like overarching. It seems like kind of present, relevant right now. Inspired action. Take inspired action now. Card number 43 breaks down to seven. Look at that shooting star. Seven is a personal reflection card. I love the purple in both of these. And fire. Indulge. Wow, look at this. Right? Indulge in your passion. Spirit is lighting a fire under your ass. Card number 38 breaks down to 11. Master manifester. Through playing, through fire, through marching to the beat of your own drum, I think you're going to receive more clarity, a little zoomed out perspective, and maybe some additional insights around the scenario you're dealing with. Pisces, can you hit that like button if this resonates and hold my hands? Take a big deep breath in and a big exhale out. Standing in Reiki, take one more big deep breath in. 
And when you release, I want you to release all the perceived pain and be like, it's not my problem to figure out if they're trying to hurt me or not. Release. You prioritize you, Pisces, your cup first. Speak up and keep it moving. I hope you have a beautiful day, Pisces. Bye.